2016 chemistry paper 2 2016 chemistry paper 2 so in this video we'll give you satisfying answers as well as satisfying explanations for this paper let's start with question number one from section a which has eight questions so section a has eight questions question number one it has got question number A, which reads, One of the laboratory rules reads as follows. Do not eat anything in the laboratory. Explain why this rule is important. So this rule is important to avoid taking hazardous chemicals through the mouth. That's the answer there. Question number two, state one other laboratory safe rule. Another laboratory safety rule which is important is this one. You have to wear your personal preventive equipment, which is abbreviated as in PPE. That's another rule. We come to question number 1B. Question number 1B reads, Important skills which a chemistry needs to have include correct measurement of quantities and choosing correct pieces of apparatus for carrying out some experimental procedures. State the name of the piece of apparatus which can be used to number one. So what apparatus can be used to measure accurate a volume of 0 0.6 cubic centimeter? So any accurate, if you want to get the accurate reading of any volume, you use a burette. What apparatus can be used to measure the mass of cooking oil sample? Any mass is measured with a beam balance. And what apparatus is used to hold 50 centimeter cubit of solution during a chemical reaction? To hold a volume during a chemical reaction, more especially titration, you use a pipette. So that's it for the first question and you get your six marks in total. Let's move on. Question number two reads, a soil sample was added to aqueous copper to surface solution forming a brown mixture. The mixture was filtered using experimental setups shown below. So there is a setup which is shown in that question paper. Then the questions are state the name of the residue. So name of the residue since soil sample is mixed with a solution. So the solution will be filtered, but the residue which will remain, it will be the cell sample. So soil sample will be the residue which will remain. Then number two, name the filtrate, the filtrate is actually the solution, which is copper 2 sulfate. Number three, color of the filtrate, copper 2 sulfate, its color is actually blue. Question 2b, the copper 2 sulfate solution is a mix of two compounds. Name the two compounds present in the copper 2 sulfate. So two compounds present in the copper 2 sulfate, you have copper 2 and sulfate ions. Copper 2 and sulfate ions. Describe in outline how the two compounds in copper 2 sulfate solution can be separated. So copper 2 sulfate solution is a mix of a salt. That's a salt. So how can you separate a salt? We know that a salt contains positive ions as well as negative ions. So these positive ions and negative ions, they're bonded together by ionic bonding. And to separate ionic compounds, so to separate an ionic compound when it requires a lot of energy because they're being held together by strong force so now the method that can be used to separate it it is electrolysis so the two compounds can be separated by the use of electrolysis and explaining what electrolysis is that is passing electric current in molten copper 2 solution then the sulfate ions and the copper ions they will be separated we move on to the third question. The third question is about the first things in chemistry. Periodic table, yeah, and lovely atomic structure, that's what it's all about. So you've got those diagrams, L, M, N, P, and Q, which contains neutrons and protons. That's the nucleus of atoms. Question number A of three, which atom has an atomic number of four? So the atom that has an atomic number of O from that listing, it is atom N. 
which atom has the mass number of 7 from that listing it is atom M it's just a matter of counting them question B using the letters M and Q write the chemical formula for the compound formed if the atoms that contain nuclei M and Q reacted so if we see the atom with the nuclei M its uh, valency is 1 in the nuclei of atom Q, its valency is 2. So reacting this, you are going to get M2Q1 because 2 will come down there and 1 will come down there. So you have MQ, M2Q1. Question number C, what type of bond is formed for the reaction in B above? This bond is not another bond apart from ionic bond. Or you can give it, you can answer by that other name of it which is electrovalent so ionic bond or electrovalent bond is the bond which bonds these two atoms together which two letters represent nuclei of atoms which are isotopes isotopes p and q they have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons we go to the next question